Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon and this is Evil Genius 2, but the fact you've clicked this video means you know what it's titled, so you know there's a bit of a surprise waiting for you. I'm gonna try to find a better solution for this. Um, hold on a minute, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try this. That we've got, yeah, that's not very good since it's in the way. The cable. We've got ourselves a Nisi cam right there now. Hi, baby. Yep, she hopped up as I was trying to start the recording session. So, this is happening. No, oh, aren't you cute? Of course, it doesn't help to show the back of your head to the audience. Here, let's... At the risk of this getting all fucked up. Hi, Nisi. There she is. She's like, what the fuck is this thing? What are you putting in my face? So this is where I need the camera. I need to have it, like, right at my armpit, and I don't know how to pull that shit off. Who's a go baby? This is the weirdest thing I've ever done for this show that I've been doing for over ten years now. Who's a go baby? Aw. Just hanging out. Gonna be part of the recording session today. Gonna be bothering me as I play. Alright, let's see if we can put this back where I had it. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't yeah, that's the problem. That's exactly where my mouse hand is. Hey, there we go. I found an angle that works. My arms aren't in the way. Everything's good. I guess you're seeing my audio wave in the background. But well, that's fine. What, do you want pets? You just have to be a little cognizant of where my arm is going so I don't accidentally knock the camera off, but... Yeah, you love the pets! Okay, uh, so where we're at... I'm gonna keep the Nisi cam going on. That's gonna get me a few more hundred views than I would ordinarily get. Um... So... Fuck it, right? Nisi's playing here. What the hell were we doing the last time? We need to kidnap Julia's bird from the world stage because we are very slowly working our way through getting all of the Something crime lords. The the so we need to find minions. out where he is. Oh, he's in the eastern US. This is gonna piss off uh, AX. Oh, uh, and if I don't do this, I lose 30. All right, well, let's let's get X. Liberty's light shines we'll do this. The and then after we do that, we'll kill the heat, and then Something we'll be able wrong. to do that Light particular story one. Room, What's wrong, baby? It's okay. Training has it's okay. Yes, you're Warning. a star. Fire you're aim. a YouTube star. If you want something done right, you uh -oh. have to do it yourself. Some, some. Uh oh. Hi, I need to be. There better be. Alright, so actually, what I need to do. I think it was. I forget who did it. You have my eternal gratitude. Someone told me that there are. Uh, you can assign hotkeys to the henchman and the evil genius. So, I'm gonna do that real quick, forgetting that I didn't have that ready here. There we go. Select character one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now, if I hit one... What? Oh, do I have to hit control one first or something? No, that didn't work. How do I... What is character one... Two, three, four, five, six. Then, oh geez, I'm gonna have to figure out what the hell's going on here. Well, maybe I'm I'm gonna have to do this the hard way for a little while. Why are you clawing up my leg, baby? Nisi, what are you doing right now? Stop eating my cable. Okay, that's fine. All right. Um. Well, I'm glad I called Agent X in, even though his. Oh, oh, okay. Well, no Nisi for a bit. We'll turn off the Nisi cam until she comes back. Because she will come back. 
I promise you, she will bother me before blood. too long. And I have that, I, ha I have OBS set, don't worry folks, all it is is one click and we've got Nisi Cam back, so everything's fine. Alright, anyway, the hell was I doing? Okay, this needs to, the heat needs to be killed here. It's probably going to go on lockdown though. I'm going to go ahead and order that to happen. Now I turn the game down too much. Oh god, what a flippin' mess. Good thing I do half hour episodes of this game. All right, so that's done, and then over here, we're gonna, I got nothing better to, well, money. And then, uh, over here, I guess kill the heat, because I don't want to have to deal with the parasites. All right. So it looks like we got Agent X out of here before he could do anything too bad. I mean, we left some bodies behind, but it's nothing we can't handle. I don't see his stupid fabricated evidence garbage, so I think we're in good shape. Um, I'm going to pause the video again, or at least do a time I skip for you, while I try to figure out what's going on with these hotkeys. I'm going to go ahead and use the excuse I was distracted by cat. Um, I realized that I must have hit escape or cancel. Because now they work fine. So, one, two, three. I have no four yet. Awesome. That works. That works a lot better than what I had been doing. Um, that'll save me a few mouse clicks. So. Uh, gonna open that up. Put you over there. And then character two and three go here. Cool, yeah, that's gonna be a lot quicker. Awesome. Alright, so... Yeah, I think we're sort of settling down into doing what we normally do. Um, alright, so we did the first thing. I'm gonna kill the heat. Because I don't want that to be an extra distraction while I'm trying to do this. And then we'll do that, and then we'll get Julius Bird. So yeah. I'm, I'm still doing this weird, like, I'm not being overly aggressive with the game, but I'm also not being, like, I, I'm not taking my time as much as I do on my own. So here we are. Also, um, whoops. Uh, sure. Oh, I apparently get an achievement if I can get Emma capped out with her evil genius improvement, so let's keep heading in that direction too. This, the ray gun, is apparently a... Who's telling... Oh, Mr. Moon. That's who's doing it. Hi, Mr. Moon. Thank you for helping me out here. Um, this is a an interrogation device, so we will use it as such eventually. Uh, right now, we don't have any prisoners. I'm trying to see if we've got a lot of people kind of grouped up in the mess hall, but I guess not. Alright, so the base is pretty stable. Um... All of our security systems work. The only thing that is even... Oh, my camera's gone. Or did I never make one? I meant to make a camera here. Oop. Pretty sure I had one at one point. A has this one's succeeded. still here, though. Um, yeah, so... I mean... I guess we're fine. We just need to keep working toward our goals and we'll be alright. So, my... Short-term goal. Oh, did you guys what do that already? Now? Holy shit. Uh, okay. I, I guess get workers. And then we'll wait for a money mission to show up there. Eli's right hand just arrived on your island. Excellent. So that'll just take a second. As always, the first episode back for a new recording session, I tend to... Uh, kind of take things a little slowly with a fewer time skips. I assume, as usual, Julius Bird is going to have some sort of thing above his head when he gets here. Oh no, we just straight up and kidnapped him. Okay, so we just need to interrogate him. Well, this is a good time to use the laser gun then. See what the animation is for that. I kind of assume it's sort of like the laser item from the first Evil Genius. An intruder has been um, let's see here. Boop, and boop. 
I guess I should move that into the cells. Because it doesn't seem like my people are using it to kind of look at. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's a little bit more direct. An intruder has given us their secrets. Now he's trying to run. Why don't we just kill him instead of, like, letting him run? Oh, we have no choice. Okay. Expose Eli's operations on the world map. Uh, okay, same play. Oh, great. Now I'm gonna get fucking... I've sent you an agent working on my secret service. Do show them a good time. Yeah? Something, something, John Steele's mom a good time. I don't know. I'm not warmed up yet, folks. All right, let's put this... Uh, here. There we go. Keep all of our interrogation devices relatively close to it, each other. I just sort of assumed the new parasite would show up through the side door. But I haven't been watching that carefully, so they might already be in the base. But the par has been triggered. The parasites don't disguise themselves, so... Wow, that is actually helpful. That wind trap. Yeah, it slows them down one step. Cool. Um, speaking of cool, maybe I should put a freeze ray or something over there. I thought oh. our last conversation left things clear between us. I quite agree. I told you to stay out of my way. Now, I've shown you why. Yeah? You think you're tough? Hitting me where I live? Well, how's this? I'm hitting you where you live. Do you think it was wise to tell me you were coming? Of course I do. You think you're clever? But you can't have a smaller story. You see. Mm hmm. Kill Eli's guards in the lair. Easy peasy. We'll just have to wait for them to show up. Um, anyway. If steel, I mean, the parasite, if this, blah, if the parasite's already in the base, I don't know where they are. Um, but they'll throw some, oh, no, I bet that's, okay, those are Eli's guards. Or somebody. This is interesting. I, I kind of expected I'd be fielding attacks from multiple sides. Salaries paid. In all islands but the original. Well, the one we did for the first run. But it seems that it's not that hard. It's just most agents are going to come through the front door, but the special ones are going to come in through the sides. Which is fine. And should be easy enough to handle. It wants me to kill four, but they sent five. Okay. So, I mean, they're... Do I don't even know why I bothered tagging them, because what's going to happen... What's going to happen... you see this intruder... Ignore them. I should keep these off because I want to I see how my security system works. They should get auto flagged to die as soon as they break in through the store. Unless they immediately start attack. Yeah, just like that. And then that's going to summon everybody anyway. So I don't even have to worry about this shit. Except we don't have any guards hanging out in the guards room, but... Oh, because everyone's here. Yes. Alright. Hey, Emma, could you come over here and stab a man for me, please? Or a woman? Must be dealt with. All part of the plan. Wow, they're so... They're so grouped up. Indeed. That I'm gonna have to kind of cut a path through them. Time to prune the workforce. As long as I can get most of them moving. This is actually probably why they group up like this. It's because I keep doing it this way. And so they all lose morale and smarts at the exact same time. So... They all have to go on break at the same time as well. Indeed. 
But that's okay. Alright, well, this is... I mean, this is working out. There's a lot of bodies. Too many bodies, really. But I also haven't gotten the henches over here. Well, I mean... We d or we can just get it done where we don't have to worry about it. I warned you that there would be a cost to getting in my way. Oh, did you now? Because I just got a clear picture of what you're capable of. What did you get? I sent your soldiers packing. Or put them in the ground. With all kinds of valuable intel, I won't take you down tomorrow. But I will be coming. Until then. Sure. Uh... Oh, okay, so now I've got the, He's on their way. the mission for Espectro's Espe Eli, which is succeeded. sort of what we were shooting for this whole time, no pun intended. We get 20 guards and 20 valets out of this? Hell yeah, let's do it. I know from your files that you are not fond of evil geniuses, and yet you will work with me. Why is that? Well, yeah, I see it. Everyone else is joining you. Better to be a ground floor investor than to get more help. Huh. That's what I like to hear. That practicality will serve you well as my chief recruiter. Recruiter? Who am I supposed to be recruiting for you then? An army like the world has never seen. And I know just where you can find it for me. Okay, destroy targets on the world stage. So... It seems all of his missions, Espectro's mission, Espresso's missions, are basically the same. Um, oh, I guess they take place in different regions based on who you're going after. That makes sense. So yeah, so I'm going to have to expand my operations over here. Um, Alright, well, that's a worthy time skip. Quick update as I... Consider my next objective. I think I've been going about this a little wrong. That rather than just killing the yellow shirts like this, I should probably be doing a little bit of preventative care. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to try to do, is move all of my broadcast signal stuff downstairs. Because we have some openings here. I could probably open this up. And rather than using these, the level one broadcast delays, I could probably use the level twos, maybe? Do I have the level twos? I don't have the and level twos. The oh, shit. Well, I guess that becomes my next research priority. Um, but then, if I can get... Basically, I want to have a net zero gain, or at least not a, a net zero loss of signal power. And then change all of this room into, like, a break a room. Because what my people are losing, or I should say when they eat, they gain smarts back. So I probably need to expand this. Alright, hold that thought. Because clearly, my people keep using the, spart the smarts machines. But the morale machines are not used as heavily. So, ultimately, this is a problem with intelligence. So, if I can move this room, the control room, and replace this with a large archives, Captain, then I'll maybe... I can prevent them from having to eat so often. And then they can work a little bit better. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. Meanwhile, I'm also destroying targets on the world stage. So, I'll hop back in when there's something interesting. Or if the Nisi cam is necessary again. The Nisi is currently in her console position. Which I would show you, but the camera won't reach that far. So, and she's snoozing, so it might be a few more episodes. I was just attacked by Eli and Espectro, Espectro, so I've decided to come up with a new little exotic strategy. What if I put the henchmen here on in a table, and then, at a table, and then 
behind them put the guards, and then convert all of this into locker space. Because we never use these rooms back here. The... And, and if there are... Even if there are two entrances, that means my only point of weakness is going to be this little hallway here. But if I keep the henchmen set to... Resp if I keep them here, then as soon as anyone shows up even down this direction, the henchmen should see them and engage, right? So... We don't need to put the guards here because the only time we start a fight is if they get this deep in the base. So if we put the people who could, you know, who are going to get involved in that situation there, I think that's going to work out really well. So I'm going to keep tweaking a little bit. Because I, I did this thinking that the guards who are at the guard table can come here to re reset their morale. That way they don't go too far from the guard table. But if we just remove the guard tables entirely and put them where they count, that would make more sense, wouldn't it? So, I'm going to keep tweaking a little bit. I like this design. Okay, I don't know how long that lasted. I probably did the speed up on that one. I, I, last, uh, for the first run, I had a lot of people say they really liked the speed up. Oh, God, I forgot the camera was there. Oh, okay, uh. Not enough rockets to support your current minion count. That's all right. It's all right, Karen. We're working on it. So, the first run taught me... From a, from a video perspective, you guys like the speed-ups. Um, I hadn't been doing it here just because I'm trying to do more aggressive editing. But I think that one may have been interesting to watch, so I'll probably keep it in. Second, um, I the lesson I learned from the first run was that choke points really are huge in this game. I wouldn't do this in other games. Every game you have to adjust your strategy a little bit. So in RTSs, you never want to group up your logistical support. That is a horrible, horrible idea. 
Um, I remember one uh, distinctive match that I had with... Uh, I considered him a friend at the time. Um, we were playing uh, Age of Empires, and his defense was extremely good, and he was reacting very well to what we were doing. And he was actually fighting us off two-on-one. Um, I was playing with his mom, and uh, his mom and I could not penetrate his defenses. So what I realized was that all his houses were grouped up, and so all I had to do was send everything I had to attack the houses. So even though he, he repelled my force, it took him too much to get his logistics back up. And on my next wave, I was able to crush his troops, and he didn't have the logistical support to make more. And then on the third wave, that was it, and we won the match. So, if this was real, or if this was a different game, putting all of your logistics, all of your lockers in the same spot would be suicide, because all you would need is a saboteur to come over, bomb the shit out of all your lockers, and then start killing off your minions, and then what the hell are you going to do? Nothing, because you don't have the lockers anymore to sustain a higher population. However, Evil Genius 2 does not work that way, and no one ever goes after lockers. So if you segregate your lockers out, and kind of keep them out of the way, isolated, and especially off the casino, I mean... There may be investigators who show up and check out the locker room, but then they're not going to do anything in there. The only point where the investigators are going to do anything is once they get inside the main base, and now we've got that ultra-covered by a bunch of friggin' nonsense. In fact, I need to set this to a kill zone, and this to a kill zone. I don't know why I made that a capture zone. Let's uh, let's just unzone it, and then we'll capture zone this just in case anyone escapes. Um, yeah, man. And then we can turn this into a capture zone. I could even actually make that a capture zone. So this way, with the way the zones are now auto tagged, if you go into the casino, you're immediately flagged for being brought back to the casino and so with this being no tag there's a very small buffer where anyone who gets through this door will be escorted back into the casino assuming they were tagged in the first place but if they aren't and they make it any deeper than this hallway they're either immediately going to be flagged to die or they're going to be immediately flagged to capture and we're going to have Super agents and guards ready to go. And then if anyone enters through the side door, they're going to immediately be flagged to die. And again, we'll have super agents, I mean henchmen, and guards ready to go. So this should work really well. The only problem we've got in this one is if someone like friggin' X or Symmetry teleport deeper into the base... But we've got those set up to for death zones, too. Um, there's a little bit extra I need to do here. I'm going to move the camera bays over here. Oh, yeah, and of course we set up... I set up the uh, incinerators here because you're probably not going to have a situation where there's a lot of bodies dropping other than these hallways. So, may as well keep those a bit closer, because no agent's going to make it that deep. So, we're going to convert these two into more of a mess hall or an archive, since that seems to be our weakness. And we can continue trying to uh, convert this lower section into a broadcast area provided we get that research. So I think this is a much better setup and I'm forcing the enemy into this choke point where at best they might live long enough to be escorted back into the casino and at worst they're just gonna get killed by every single agent and guard I've got. So this should work out pretty well. I, I'm not entirely sure why we why this table isn't... Do we just not have any 
muscle minions? No, we've got them. Where the hell are they all? Are they all hanging out here? Yep, yep, yep. They're all hanging out here. All right, so that needs to be the next thing I work on. Um, I mean, there's even a solution to that. I'm going to do that in the next episode, though. I think I know how to solve that little problem. I'm just going to have to tweak a few things, as I'm tweaking now, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, so this is base, op base optimization the episode. And I know I'm over 30 minutes at this point, so we're just going to call it here. So thank you all very much for watching. Look forward to more base optimization in the next episode, and possibly more Nisi Cam if she stops passing out next to my PlayStation 4. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.